Who hasn't had it happen to them? You're stopped going to or from downtown because the Main Street Bridge is up. Now, some changes may be made to raise the bridge less often. While drivers will like it, many boaters will not. Channel 4's Jim Pickett is joining us live from the Main Street Bridge. Jim, what exactly is being considered? Well, what they're talking about is limiting the times that they can actually raise the bridge. Now, this is only in discussion right now. And right now, there are some limitations in place. They really can't do that during rush hour. But officials downtown believe that if they could expand that, it would help during special events and games. That'd be an answer to a prayer. That's what some drivers trying to cross the Main Street Bridge told us this afternoon when they were caught in traffic because the bridge was raised. They're not alone. Others believe the raised bridge ties up traffic during big events like Jaguar games and concerts. They would like to see specific times posted when the bridge could be raised. The concerns were relayed to the Waterways Commission, which was told businesses want it limits as well. Councilwoman Lloyd Boyer talked about the measure at yesterday's meeting. She says it would be good as long as it was safe for boaters who might have to wait in rough currents. As long as we can address the public safety issue or that's not a concern, then I think there's real merit to having designated opening times for the bridge that take into account special event traffic. There are already limits according to federal laws when the bridge can't be raised. That's during rush hour traffic in the morning and evening. But some boaters say there is a safety concern. If there's more limits on the bridge, uh, it would be a hassle for boaters to go in and out of our our marina is down the river. Um, you know, we try to play with the tides. Ralph Hubbard runs a charter business with his sailboat and often has to cross under the bridge. And to limit the access to it for a sailboat with a, you know, 60-foot mast is, um, you know, it's just not encouraging people to take advantage of the great resource we have with the St. John's River. Any decision would have to be made by the Coast Guard, and a spokesperson says they haven't been approached. But waterway members say this is just in the discussion stage and it will be addressed later this summer. Now, if you've driven across the Main Street Bridge lately, you've probably noticed the construction and you've probably noticed too that it hasn't gone up as much. That's because there are some new limits, at least during this construction time. Boaters have to give them a two hour notice before they approach here and they only open it at specific times. We're live from the South Bank, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.